Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today is one of those days when I'm extremely excited. I hope you are too, because we're going to take a look at the Ultimate Decepticon base. We looked at my iteration of the Ultimate Autobot base back in episode 600, but I wasn't quite ready to address the Ultimate Decepticon base because we still had a couple of the uh, Decepticon MicroMaster bases to look at, and we weren't quite there, but I thought that now, today, was a very fitting time to do it because we're going to be looking at... Oh, this guy, kinda, sorta. We're actually going to be looking at the Toy Hacks upgrade set for the Mammoth Titan Class Trypticon and even a few of the stickers that go on full tilt in the latest Got Bot True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. I'm so happy that you decided to drop by today. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors, and L, The Autobot Family. Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, that's right, hit that notification bell, please, because it lets you guys know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. And, of course, check me out everywhere across social media. And this is, of course, Trypticon. And we looked at him a long time ago in episode, I want to say 300. And uh, we have kind of looked at an Ultimate Decepticon base before. But things are going to get updated here now because... When we were looking at all the Autobot ones, I said then that it seemed very fitting that we uh, incorporate the MicroMaster bases. And I think the same can be said now for incorporating the Decepticon MicroMaster bases with this guy as the centerpiece. And what better way to make him a centerpiece than with the Toy Hacks label set? And mine happens to be, and I, I didn't know this until I started looking at the set, to be honest with you, mine happens to be uh, one of the ones that has two... Uh, towers that are asymmetrical. Uh, it's not that the, the size or shape is asymmetrical, it's the design, the molded in design is asymmetrical. And I kind of like that because it makes each tower sort of unique in its own right. But I mean, obviously it doesn't matter if they're the same or if they're, they're, or if they're different. Either way, he is a huge Decepticon dino and that's why we love him. Anyway, uh, we're going to show him in his dinosaur mode, in his ship mode, and in his uh, base mode uh, before we look at we'll say an expanded version with everything that we can incorporate to make the ultimate Decepticon base. So yeah, we're going to start dino mode, look at all of the added detail here. We'll do the same in the other two modes. I'm not going to show the transformations or the articulation or anything. We've looked at all that before. This is merely to see just what this set adds. And I can tell you now, in all modes, especially the ship and city modes, this set adds a ton of additional detail. Um, and we'll see just how well he incorporates with everything else in the ultimate base. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I'm excited. Are you, you excited? I hope you are. Let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this set. So I want to begin things with both a thank you and an apology, so to speak, because I made a mistake. The thank you, first and foremost, is to Event Progenitor for providing us with this Toy Hacks Labels Upgrade Kit for Trypticon and Full Tilt. Um, though, admittedly, I only used a few of the stickers on Full Tilt. That's the thank you. The apology is because I said uh, not that long ago that the only Titan to have ankle tilt was Omega Supreme. Incorrect. Trypticon also has ankle tilt, as you can see right there. I don't know if it's quite to the degree that we have with Omega Supreme, but he certainly does have it. So I was mistaken earlier. My apologies. Um, honestly, I'd forgotten that this guy had it. It's, I mean, there's no excuse other than that. Uh, now, this, of course, is not our usual type of review because this time around we're really only going to be looking at what was added. I'll say this. In some cases on this guy, I opted to keep the stock stickers that came with him. In other cases, I opted to um, add certain stickers. And even in doing so, there are times, as I'll try and try and remember to point out, where you have options for more than one type of sticker to go somewhere. Nevertheless, all three modes are affected by these labels. 
Uh, I feel like the robot mode may be less so than the ship and the city mode. And we're also going to conclude things off today. This has kind of been the end of our look at the G1 MicroMasters this week. And in what I've been kind of calling a, a Titan themed week, so to speak, uh, we're going to conclude things by looking at our ultimate Decepticon base. If you want to know kind of what the ultimate Autobot base looked like, or my ultimate Autobot base, go back to episode 600. I showed it off there. This time we're going to kind of see an evolution because we're going to look at everything that we have that can go with this guy as well as all the G1 MicroMaster bases um, that we can have go with this guy that I currently have now. Granted, they're on loan so they won't always be around. But we know that this will not be the true Decepticon Ultimate base because we already know, man, that we have a Titan-class Scorponok on the horizon. Nevertheless, the focus today is indeed on Trypticon. So in robot mode, what do we have in terms of labels that affect things? If we start down on his legs, his lower legs now have orange detailing, kind of like the upper legs. I left the stock orange detailing of the upper legs on there, but there is new detailing for that as well. Uh, going up the side of the body, you will notice green details right there. Those green details are also a part of this label set. Uh, if we go up the side to the head, things get more interesting. Now, why would I say things get more interesting as we get up by the head? Well, a couple of reasons. One, we now have chromed teeth, and there's even more stickers there that you can put kind of inside his teeth. Putting those on the outside is brutal. Putting the ones inside, I cannot imagine doing so, but you can do them. You'll also notice back right here, I have a Decepticon symbol, but there are, I believe, two different options to replace that. I think that's the stock Decepticon symbol I have there. There's another, um, like, upgraded Decepticon symbol and then like another like uh, like lights I suppose but that's not all that we have extra in robot mode no 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 if we go to his back we can see even more the very first thing to note is that we now have orange on his like back scales and if we go down his tail there's additional green detailing there's even more green detailing if you want to get rid of or cover up the stock stickers there um, but all the green detailing that you see here, there's uh, basically three green stickers. Those are all now additional. And while our focus right now is not on all the detail on the building windows, though that is cool to see in this mode as well, you will notice that there's uh, like a series of, uh, I'm going to say yellow lights. Um, those are mostly visible in robot mode. Talking about right there. Um, there's two of those and they look absolutely glorious as well. In terms of his chest and his arms, uh, we have green detailing there on his forearm. We now have purple detailing on a couple of like window sections on his chest. And we have like an orange, a piece of orange detailing right there as well. It just adds a little something more uh, kind of to make his body detail stand out. Here's another angle to kind of see those little purple window details as well as that orange detail that I pointed out. But that's not all we have. If you look at full tilt, you can see some red stickers up near the top of him. Uh, I guess they're supposed to be like engine pieces. If we go down the body a bit more, you can see that the purple toe pieces down on his feet, they now have additional like light detailing on them. Uh, as well as his pelvis there has a new red section. There's purple on the side of it. Separate stickers, but you have that new detailing there. I like that better than what was there stock wise. Going up the body, you can see that red I was talking about on full tilt. And again, you can see those chrome teeth, buddy. That looks fantastic. Now, before we delve into Trypticon's other modes, I thought that we'd look at the couple of stickers that I happened to add to Full Tilt here. Besides for these red ones, I added these red ones as well, kind of on his, I'll say on his wrists, really. Um, it just, it's a little light detailing. <clears throat> if we come around to the 
back we have orange or green tail lights and they're kind of hologram like so that's kind of cool we have this center i'm going to call tail light up right here and if we turn him around to the front you can see that we now have green headlights as well um i dig it in terms of robot mode the changes here are extremely subtle all i did i didn't add anything to the titan master all i did was add some green detail down there on his leg and up on his thigh and the little green hologram holograph whatever it is i think it's hologram uh sort of detail up on his chest uh i dig it i absolutely dig it it just adds a little bit of green to him to make his purple and silver kind of tie in even more with Trypticon. I mean, Trypticon has green and purple and silver. This guy just had purple and silver. The green is just like that last bit that makes him just a little bit more Trypticon-y, if that makes any sense. And the story of ship mode begins with, well, those stickers down there on kind of the entry ramp where the front of the ship picks up, although it's sort of, it sort of feels like it's his head, like it's the gaping maw of Trypticon's ship mouth. You know, you get you get what I mean? Like, it looks like his head. Just saying, bears a striking resemblance. If we come over here, you will notice that, in essence, what we have is the bottom of his foot and those purple toes. And we have extra detailing over there as well. If we go in on it, you can see detailing on the flat part. You can see kind of red lights in the purple toes. And up on top, there's a couple of like gold colored bits. It, it, it looks cool, I guess. But that's far from all that we have in this mode. On the side here, you'll notice that there are windows for the mammoth Trypticon. Presumably, uh, Decepticons are in behind those. You can see some of the detailing going up the side as well. On this wing, we have additional green detailing. Uh, most notably here and back right here. Uh, there's more detailing kind of in around here, but some of that has to do with city mode, so I'm not going to focus on it right now, though we do have escape pods here. I like that better, better than the stock stickers that were there. Up top as well, there are a number of stickers some i have applied better than others but all of those can be replaced with kind of individualized stickers so it's up to you i didn't do it i left the stock ones there he is the dss nemesis starting at his nose and going back you'll see a lot of detail notably on the left and right side of those cannons that purple and green and kind of gold circles that's extra detailing you will notice that we have two decepticon symbols one of them is extra detailing as are the stickers to either side of that decepticon symbol going up here you will notice kind of excessive detailing this is more road detailing we'll see that a bit later in his uh kind of base mode but you can see where it all is and there's a lot of it man a lot of it the other thing to note is on this side of the two towers. We don't get to see it often. You see it sort of in robot mode. You definitely see it here when, when they're like angled. Um, you don't really see this in city mode unless you get behind him, but it's there and it looks fantastic. Overall, the Nemesis warship has never looked more menacing or more sleek, in my personal opinion. What about that city base mode? And here's what I was most excited about, the sprawling Trypticon base city mode. It looks amazingly more detailed with these labels. Uh, if we go over here and kind of zone in somewhat, you can see the extra detail on the leg, that landing pad, and kind of down in front of it, there's additional detail coming across. You can actually see roadways now. We'll see this closer in a moment. Uh, that centerpiece now full of the, the lights and whatnot, roadways on both sides. I don't know, it looks amazing, but perhaps, perhaps the most amazing part is where we should begin first, with his two huge... Uh, actually, I guess three, technically, 
um, but certainly two. That center one is sort of makeshift. Huge uh, towers, and mine are the asymmetrical ones. I did not ever notice the molded in detail until it was picked out with these windows. I had no idea that I had the asymmetrical versions, if you can believe that. Uh, presumably Decepticons are in all of these buildings. Uh, a moment ago when I showed the entire city mode, I didn't have the spires at the top extended. They're extended now. Uh, there's even a, like extra detailing on the spires, just like one piece, but it's there. That's not the only spot though that we have windows. You will notice right here that you have more windows and you have two extra pieces here and on the other side, they represent satellite dishes that the original G1 trip to come would have had that the Titans Return one never did. You can also see detail on the, um, I don't know, main roadway, I suppose we call it, and that goes way on down the body. In fact, if we start at the bottom of the ramp, and work our way up, you can get a real appreciation for that roadway going back up to the satellites. Speaking of roadways, on either side, we have this sort of roady goodness, and it certainly could accommodate MicroMasters. And this one leads up to, like, a storage hatch. At least I assume that's a storage hatch. On the other side, however, the road leads not to a storage hatch, but to a helicopter landing pad. Now in the center of that landing pad there's an X because X marks the spot but that can also be a Decepticon symbol if you're so inclined. We have additional detailing right there that's on that same platform that we looked at earlier plus more window detailing right there where Decepticons could be lurking and a sign that says to char. Because evidently that orange translucent hip piece is actually a space bridge? Didn't see that coming, but if this one goes to Char, and that space bridge too, then where does space bridge one go? To Cybertron? Who would have ever seen that coming? So in case you couldn't tell, I'm absolutely smitten with this set, and I think it makes a tremendous difference. If you can get your hands on this Trypticon set, I highly recommend it. It gives him so much more life in all modes, especially this glorious, beautiful base mode. But having him in base mode makes me wonder. It makes me wonder a lot. When I think about the recent uh, G1 MicroMaster bases we've looked at and the few other Decepticon bases that we have, I wonder. I wonder what an updated Ultimate Decepticon base might look like. Well, in my case, it might look something like this. And with the mammoth Trypticon acting as basically the center of this horseshoe of defense, we can start over on this side with our G1 MicroMaster bases and move right along. Obviously, it's not exactly connected to Trypticon, though I do have his uh, connection point laid in place. We come along the entire base, the Citadel, if you will, where Megatron, or maybe Galvatron, or maybe someone else sits as a leader of the Decepticons. Uh, we have Shockwave in there just because I thought, hey, why not include his little craft thing? Six Shot begrudgingly a part of the base, probably under threat from Trypticon, as is Black Shadow. And, of course, Overlord. But, at the end of the day, considering that the Autobot kind of command center had three Titans as part of it and surrounded by everybody else, and so far for the Decepticons we only have one, I would still call this quite the sprawl of a base. The Decepticons are lucky in that Trypticon really does spread out a lot. And the, the Toy Hacks label set just helps it that much more. I don't know about you, but more and more, day by day, I absolutely want that Scorbanock. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. And I don't know if you can tell how full of energy I've been with this, but I love this set. I want to again thank uh, Event Progenitor for uh, providing this set to me. It is 
Very appreciated, very generous. Um, it is definitely something that adds so much, especially in the ship and definitely the city mode. Like it feels with the roadways and stuff now, it feels more like a city. And there's still, as I mentioned, a ton of stickers and detail that I didn't use. Um, largely because there were certain things where I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm fine with the stock stickers that came there. I, I'm just gonna leave them. But, and even like, there's Decepticon symbols up here on his, the side of his head. I mean, even there, like there's two or three kind of options that you have for what you would want to put there, what sort of detail you want. So that's the other thing. You, you're not gonna use everything because of the fact that there's like extra pieces in there to give you options. And I think that's really cool that they took the time and the care to give you those extra options to suit your taste. Uh, it's definitely a set worth getting if you don't have it. Uh, if you have Triptychon, I do highly recommend it. It does add so much and it makes this already impressive lad just that much more impressive. Anyway, let me know what you think about the upgrade uh, set from Toy Hacks for this guy and for full tilt while we're at it. Uh, you know I love to hear from you guys and what you think about these guys and in this case, this set. Uh, I appreciate you dropping by give me some of your extremely valuable time. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, there's a donate link down in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out so very much. And don't forget, especially, that somehow, someway, each and every day, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams, at the stop motion premieres, or the old-fashioned way, the usual way, man, right here, inside the videos.